Man, well, it's time to do this. Ladies and gentlemen, do not adjust your set. I'm Hitman Cos, and welcome to your official contracts and the predictions for Fastlane. And of course, I'm not alone in, in, in this endeavor. Please welcome, as always, the humble man, Gary Gary. Welcome to the contracts. Yo, 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 what's good, what's good, what's good, my man Cos Painting, and what's good, y'all out there, what up, my man Cos, what's good, nigga? Ain't shit, man, ready to get into this? Let's do this shit like Brutus, you know it. Alright, first off, um, this match just got added at the last second, um, we have the LWO, consisting of Rey Mysterio, Santos Escobar, and a mystery partner, versus the Street Profits and Bobby Lashley. Okay, okay, okay. I like that. Now, before we give a prediction for the match, who do you you think the third member going to be? The third member of LWO? Yeah, yeah, for the match. Because Joaquin Wilde and Raul Man... I mean, Joaquin Wilde and Cruz del Toro uh, clearly aren't going to be there. So, who do you think it's going to be? That's a tough one. I'm wondering who the hell it's going to be. You know who I think is going to be? Who? Pardon me for the cough. Um, who I think is going to be? Someone who was supposed to be expected to return on SmackDown July 7th, which I was there for at Madison Square Garden, but it didn't happen. It could be a surprise. I could be right. I could be wrong. I mean, if my prediction is wrong, it's, I don't know who it's going to be. I think it's going to be Carlito. Hmm. Uh, 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 that's a good choice. I'm, think, I'm thinking Dragon Lee probably. Um, him too. I mean, your choice, your prediction is probably going to be right because I don't. We don't know when the hell Carlito's going to be returning. Yeah. So your prediction is probably going to be more right than mine. But if I, but if I'm being honest, you know, Dra- Dragon Lee, I think he's more of like a sporadic appearance uh, for SmackDown, and he's more committed to NXT. Right. But who knows? But either way, um. Uh, honestly, I don't know. I don't know who, who to choose in this match because, because, because you know the elder girl want want revenge, but but at the same time, you know Lashley and the Street Profits still need to get further established and whatnot. That's correct. So I don't know. Cause, and the thing is, Bobby Lashley already already got mad at street, the Street Profits one time for losing to the LWO. So if they lose again. Even though you know they got back into the good graces of Bobby Lashley, who knows? This might be the final straw. Right. Exactly. So, uh, honestly, mainly because of the because of the mystery, I have to go with the LWO. Honestly, speak, honestly speaking, I wouldn't debate you there. I think that's a possibility. I think that's a possibility. Mm. Maybe LWO probably gonna win, but honestly speaking, I love L- I like the LWO. I, I love Lashley and the Street Profits. So I hope them as a tag team together. I hope they get their first win. Yeah. Moving on, we have uh, Io Sky versus Oscar versus Charlotte Flair in a triple threat match for the women's championship. Io Sky versus Charlotte Flair versus who? You said I'm sorry, Oscar. First off, let me preface this by saying Charlotte should not be in this match. I really would not. Sorry to cut you. I really would not debate you there. Jesus Christ, she should not be. Oh my God, she she always she's always getting title opportunities and all those kind of things. Great talents, but let others shine and get a chance. Come on. And 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 it's, and it's like they do it so blatantly where they just force her in, in into the matches. As if she uh, she should be there on principle, and she and she exactly, and she just is automatically just uh just just demanding opportunities, man. Right. I ain't like I ain't with it. Oh, you already know I'm not. Shoot, I've been not with it. <laughs> but mainly because of the banger that. Oscar and Eo Sky had on SmackDown, I think, like two weeks ago or a week ago. Um, right. 
Honestly, I, I want Io to retain. I, I, th I think she is deserving of a long reign, in my opinion. I think so, too. See, I wouldn't debate you there. I think so, too. You know what I'm saying? Word. Then... Now, and, and then, I'll, actually, no, I, I, I'm not going to talk about that just yet. Just yet. No, I, I say I say that for later. But, any, but yeah. Moving on, we have um, the Judgment Day versus Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso for the Undisputed Tag Team titles. Um, I'm going to be straight up. I want the Judgment Day to win. Honestly speaking... I want either one to win, but I think the Judgment Day is going to retain. I don't think they're going to lose it, though, just real quick. It's going to be a good match, but I think Judgment Day is retaining. Just because freaking... I mean, I got no problem with Cody Rhodes and Jey Uso, but, but like, I want Jey Uso to just to be a single star. Yeah. I wanted to make you there. Yeah. I really do, too. Which reminds me, too, I got his shirt on my cart, too. Cool. On WWShop.com, so I really got to get that and the hoodie to it. Yeah, so so for like, so if they were to win, you know, I think this would just ruin things, because in my opinion, the whole point of him coming to Raw was for him to number one be separated from the bloodline, but but number two to further, you know, establish him as a single star. Exactly. And exactly. and personally, I'm hoping in, that there's interference from from JD McDonough. And, and then I hope that it, they'll they'll finally have uh, him him properly join the group. Right. Because I've said it before, and I'm gonna keep saying it until he's in. They need to stop yanking him along and make him a full fledged member. Yeah, exactly. Stop playing games with this man and have him join. Exactly, and not to change the topic. I know we finished a match before, but I think I don't mind seeing Io Sky retain the belt. Sorry to start. I didn't mention that before. Like what you said, you didn't mind seeing her retain. But back to this match right here. Yes, I think it's building up to that. They're gonna let make JD McDonough become a member. Yeah, and and uh, it, it, it just uh, I'm just so sick of it. I'm so uh, I'm so I'm so sick of them playing games with them. Yeah, I kind of am too. I mean, I already know that. Yeah, I'm saying to myself, yeah, yeah, you already know they're gonna um lead to them making him a member, but they need to just hurry up already and make him a contemporary yeah. member. Cause, cause as far as I'm concerned, the only the only thing standing in the way of him being a full fledged member is Damian Priest. He's the only problem. Fair. Cause, Fair. cause, cause him and Balor are attached to the hip. Cause, cause you probably don't know this, but. Ballard trained him. Oh, uh, I knew they're good friends, but I never knew that was yep. part of the reason yep. why they're so good friends. Yep, Ben trained him. And then, Ooh. and then you know, him and then him and Rhea, they've slowly be, become cool. Especially, especially when, whenever you know Damien doesn't want him around, she'll she'll say that he that she that she chose for him to be around. So, so it's obvious that that he that, that he's that he's in in her good graces, and then him and Dom are cool, especially after all the times that he stuck his neck out for Dom, and and every and every time and and there are multiple times where where he's had Dom's back and Dom has had his back, so he's cool with Dom. So, so like I said, Priest is the only problem. Right. Yeah. Moving on, we have John Cena and L.A. Knight versus Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokoa. Now, I'm about to make a bit of a spoiler because you didn't watch SmackDown, but Roman Reigns will be appearing um, next week on SmackDown, which is the season premiere. And oh, uh, that ain't a, sorry to cut you. Nah, that ain't a spoiler for me. I already been there, said the rumors, and, it's, and uh, speaking of that, um. I did. I um the rumored return date for my boy Roman Reigns to return. The first I was um so they when it was said that October 27. But my prediction, which is stood correct, was he was gonna be back um 
October 13th, which is next Friday. Then when I saw October 27th, then when it changed it to the 13th, I said to myself, yep, my, my prediction ended up being, um, re, um, being corrected and made better sense because Crown, as we know it, even though um, we're going to do the predictions for the next pay-per-view, which is Crown, which is on Saudi Arabia November 4th, um, what so it would make it wouldn't make any sense for him to come back on the last smackdown of october which is the last friday of, sorry, of october because they have to build up for quality yeah. for crown jewel yeah. so it would make better sense for him to return on the season premiere next week which is the 13th it would make better sense for him to come back on tv that day because that's more early to so build up for crown jewel what sense would it make for him to come back the last smackdown of october so my prediction stood correct i'm like what are y'all doing so now i was like yup it, it made better sense like come on man uh, now, with that being with that being said, um, I on uh, I honestly feel that even even with the ramifications, um, John John Cena, I got John Cena and LA Knight winning with LA Knight getting the pin. Oh yeah, my boy John Cena, my boy LA Knight. I would either want them to win or my boy Jimmy Uso, my boy Solo Sokoa want either one to win, but I think it's going to be John, my boy John Cena and my boy LA Knight. And like you said, with LA Knight getting the pin, no, no, I mean, I could see that. Well, I mean, we'll see what happens. I mean, in my opinion, he he has to get the pin because, you know, this is, that would further his, um, his push, you know? Exactly. So, so I feel that, I feel that needs to happen. You know? I wouldn't have you there. Cause, cause like, there. yeah, because like, given the magnitude of this match, this this would be this again is just what he needs to to further um to, to further build him up, you know. Exactly. Uh, and then also at the same, and then also at the same time, you know. If if the bloodline w- was to win the match, this would further help Jimmy Uso as far as where he stands in the bloodline. Exactly. But um. Uh, and, but yeah, and then uh, then also, it's something else I got to get off my chest. You, you probably might not agree with what I'm about to say, but I'm getting so sick and tired of them calling John Cena the greatest of all time. Oh Jesus Christ! Why you say that, man? Come on, he is. He he's is not. The he's not. Of he's not. He's far from it. How? How and why? Well, well, for, well, for, well, for one thing, uh, I don't care how good of an entertainer he is. He, he's not a good wrestler. And, uh, oh Jesus Christ! And then, uh, and and then, the, the, just the fact that that they that they are constantly trying to drive this home. For, further makes me take a step back and look at the matches he's had. Even even his five star match against CM Punk at Money in the Bank. And storytelling wise, he 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 did he he put he put, he made a good story. Wrestle wrestle wise, he ain't shit. That was all CM Punk. see what you're saying though with Jesus Christ and 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 for anybody trying to bring up his his his, his titles first off um, 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 a good amount of those titles that he won he shouldn't have even, he shouldn't have even been in the match like um like when he won his 16th against AJ at, at the at the Raw Rumble he, he shouldn't have even been All in right. that match but, he shouldn't have been in the match Cena. You know? nope no, she shouldn't have been in it, you know, much less won it. Oh boy. So uh, Come on, man. No, I, no, 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 don't even, don't even, don't even give me, don't even give me that crap. I feel what you're saying, man. Uh, yeah. the opinions are opinions. Yeah, 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 but that's the thing. It's, it's, it's an opinion, but freaking, they, they keep trying to shove it. Down our throat as if it's supposed to be a fact. Oh wow! When I hate to break it to you, it's it's just an opinion, and no matter how much, and no matter how how hard they try and drive home of it, and trying to be a nickname or even a fact, it'll never be a fact. It's always gonna be an opinion. 
and more more importantly for me, an opinion that I will never ever agree with. Oh, wow. For me, you already know who, who who I believe is the greatest. Yeah. And for me, he will always be the greatest. Cause he cause he continue cause no, no matter how old he gets. He, he always finds ways or, and tries to find ways to change things up, keep himself fresh, keep himself entertaining for, for, for everyone to see. And he always ha tries to have a new trick up his sleeve to, to entertain fans. Gotcha, gotcha. And that's who again? Chris Jericho. Oh, no, I had a feeling it was kind of him, but I don't know if I would have been right or wrong. I ain't going to debate you there. Jericho's one of my main favorites, so I ain't going to debate you there. And and honestly, and, and you know, even though th we're, we're getting off topic, you know, uh, I, I, it still annoys me how his feud with Kevin Owens was supposed to end on a much better note. Right. Like, 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 I'm sure you, do you know what happened? Oh, explain that. I mean, I probably won't. I mean, I know it was a good ass rivalry, but I probably don't know how it was supposed to end. Let me know. All right. Well, how it how it ended was, was them. Well, well, well. One of the biggest points of, of where it ended, sort of, um, was at WrestleMania when they faced off for the U.S. title in I think the opening oh, match. Oh, it's one. Yeah, in which. Oh yeah. In which Vince wasn't happy about the match and labeled it the, the worst WrestleMania match ever. Even though there have been tons, and I mean tons of worse matches, and I mean tons. Did All I right. did I mention there were tons of worse? Yeah. Yeah. Just just for the record, there there were tons of matches worse than that. And and yeah. and, and their match will and, and their match will, will, will wasn't even bad. But but they were definitely holding back. But, but, but they did that. But they did. They did that on purpose. Cause what happened was, instead of the instead of them feuding over the the United States Championship, they were supposed to feud over the Universal Championship. Yes. Yeah. Now I recall. Now I recall. Now I'm able to recall. I did read the articles. Yeah. But, but Vince. But, yeah. But but then Vince pulled the plug on it for Brock Lesnar and Goldberg, which is why, you know. No, which, so which is why, which is why they they had Jericho cost him the ti the title to Goldberg, and the thing is, Jericho didn't even want to do that because of what the original plans were, and then what was going to happen is that when they were going to face off for the Universal Title at at WrestleMania, they were going to try and tear the house down. Yeah, With, that is correct, brother. Which, given how how good how how great they are in the ring and great how great they are together, I I guarantee it it would have been a great match. That, That's right. That people would have definitely been talking about. Exactly. But uh, but unfortunately, you know, you know, star power wise, Brock Lesnar and Goldberg do have bigger uh, do do draw more than Jericho and Owens. But as far as match quality goes, freaking you know, no offense to Lesnar, but him, but him and Goldberg together can't compete. I mean, I, I mean, I mean don't get me wrong, Brock, he yeah, uh, Brock can definitely make a, a great match that that people will talk about, but not with Goldberg. Yes, I mean, yeah, that Goldberg and that Brock Lesnar, yeah, when they go to get, get them going against each other, it's like, yeah, like, I don't know, because, like, it's kind of, them going against each other, it's like, <sighs> it's really, it, like, they, I don't know, like we said earlier, them putting up a show, it's like, I don't know, go up against other people, yeah, but against each other, eh, somewhat, their best matches would have to be, That's it's hard to say what their best matches against each other would be. Well, as far as I remember, I think they only had three matches together, and the first one they exactly. had, and the first one they had was uh, was was garbage. 
I was just thinking about all three of them. I mean, honestly, and they both got booed because that was both of their last night there. Yeah, yeah. The only person who got cheered for that night, the only person that started to cut you, my man, the only person who got cheered for that night was my boy Stone Cold Steve Austin. I mean, Brock and yeah. Goldberg, they're my boys too, but they can't keep going for the belts, chill. But my boy Stone Cold was the only one who was getting cheered for that night. Yeah, yeah, and also it, it, it didn't help them at the fact that everyone knew that they were le that that was their last match. Exactly. And I think it's because of because of that that fact that which is why everyone turned on the match. Facts. So I tell you what, in, if if they had kept their mouth shut, or you know, I bet it, and if uh, I guarantee they didn't say they didn't say it, someone else did. So I get I, so I can't see whoever the whoever was the whistleblower, if 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 they kept their mouth shut, then they would have actually you know tried in this match. Right. And then talking about their second match, um, I'll say this: the, their second match was I wouldn't I wouldn't say it was good. It was more mem. It was more. Uh, shock value than than right. good or memorable just because of how Goldberg won the match right you know that right but and and it's and it's because of that that like and it's because of a, sh a shock value that the match in my opinion isn't fondly remembered because because like Sure. In the moment, you know, everybody's shocked and surprised at what at what happened and whatnot. But at the end of the day, you know, when people look back at this match, you know, uh, a, a lot of people don't um, don't uh, aren't sh aren't aren't thinking goodly about this match. They're thinking about how short it was, uh, what little they did, and they don't think about it in a good way. And 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 the biggest reason is because of how both of them are booked as monsters, especially Goldberg, where it's no secret that the man has no stamina, and it's, and it's because of his lack of stamina that he um that that all that that all of his matches that he's ever had were were always purposely very short because because he gets gassed so early, and then. And then it also, you know, doesn't help that he has a pretty limited move set. Right. But the thing is, when it came to his run in WCW, the reason why he was so over is because they knew is because they knew what to do when it came to when it came to to, to him and how he wrestles. Right. Like like they knew to have the matches be. Be short and to the point, which is why, right. which is, but then you know, but then also it's why he got exposed by both William Regal and Bret Hart. Right, right. Because of that time where William Regal wanted to have a nice long match, you know, to get to get the fans talking, but Goldberg didn't want that. Right. And then. Uh, and then, um, if we're talking Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho, they, they, you know, even though they don't have the star power that, that Goldberg and Lesnar don't have, they, they, they have the match quality. And the thing is, Brock, he actually, he, he does have the stamina to go. But the thing is, well, with Goldberg, he, he can't do that. He, he pretty much has, has to limit himself. Because exactly. he because he has had long matches and he's had great memorable matches, but the problem is with Goldberg he 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 just can't he just can't do that. Right. And then you know, for me, I understand why that was the last straw for Chris Jericho. You know. Right. That's and, correct. And as far as I'm concerned, I don't think he's ever going to come back. Just just because of the resentment that he has. Because of that feud, right? But, That's correct. Yeah, but anyways, before we get even further off the topic, let's talk about the the main event match: Seth Rollins 
versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the World Heavyweight Championship in a last man standing match. Now, first off, before we get into the match, I, I really need to say this. I have been loving Shinsuke's promo work. Oh, yeah. He, his, his work, his promo work as a heel has been nothing short of excellent. He, he's cold, right. he's ruthless, he's diabolical, and, sh and just straight up evil. Every, all the ingredients of a perfect, good, treacherous heel. Right. And, you know, sure, you know, cowardly heels are also, you know, they also make, make good recipe, but, but truly evil, diabolical heels like, like this is just so perfect. And, and for me, the, the best part about this is the fact that they have him cutting promos in his native language. And I've always, I've always wanted WWE to do this. For for any foreign talent in which English is not their their native language, even if they can speak perfect English, I've always wanted international talent to cut promos in their native language. Cause cause because number one, it's it's more authentic. Two, you know, they don't have to struggle from from a script to read. And and two, you know. I feel with them using their native tongue, they can uh, they can invoke more emotion and and actually and and further put their heart into into what into what they're saying and Correct. and 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 and, and like they could do a better job with storytelling and and it would be so much easier for the fans to to believe what they're saying and get. And, and get behind it. So with so with him cutting these promos in his in his native language, it just feels so perfect, you know. So. That's correct. So and and honestly, what they have him doing, you know, prom, promo wise, and and whatnot. I feel this is this is exactly what they should have done when he first turned heel against AJ Styles at WrestleMania. Don't get me wrong, his his heel run was decent, but it could have been better. And, right. And you know, trolling Renee Young with the whole speak no Eng English thing that that also helped. But, exactly. But you know, it it, it it just still it still it just still felt like there was something missing. And right, and yeah, and with his promo work here, you know, this is this is what was missing. Him speaking his native tongue. That's what was missing. That's correct. And then. And then also, and then even when they had him speak in English, that then they, they, they still had the potential of something really good on uh, on them, but they fumbled in my opinion. And that was when he was United States champion, and he had and he and he um, had the whole state of knock America thing going. You know, exactly. And right. and I pers. And and like if they, if, if they would have like expanded on that and have him cut more, I'd say anti-American promos or or promoting knock America, like like they like they could have had they could have had something really good. But again, exactly. they 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 fumbled on it, especially yeah, especially when they when they when they botched. That um his match against our truth and just stuck with him losing the title to our truth. No, no, no offense to truth, but like it 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 just messed it just messed things up big time. 
to Nakamura, right? Yeah, yeah, when he lost to R Truth, and like his shoulder was up, but but they still just but they still just had to had to go. Exactly, and honestly speaking, him versus Rollins, I want either one to win. I wouldn't mind my boy Seth Rollins retaining, or if my boy Nakamura gets it, I wouldn't mind because he's he's been due for a championship run. And especially when he was feuding with my boy AJ Styles, I didn't mind seeing my boy AJ Styles win and retain it. But I, I, I wouldn't want to see my boy Nakamura get the belt because he's been due for, he's been overdue for a uh, champion uh, or heavyweight championship run. And the talent he's been from New Japan to now, like, come on, man. Yeah, in my opinion, he die hard wrestling. Sorry to cut you. Any, oh, I can continue with. Sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. Any diehard wrestling fans like ourselves would dead tell you that shit. Yep, and and freaking for me, I feel he's he's long overdue for just a world title period. Right. So, so in my opinion, so even though I wouldn't have too much of an issue with Seth winning, I I I really really want Shinsuke to win this match. Just just because not only is he long overdue for a world title run, but also I feel with how how excellent and utterly perfect his promo work and just heel work in general has been I feel that him losing would have a go a go all the ways even if he attacks Seth um after the match I feel him losing w- w- would 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 just ruin every ruin everything he's done like right. for me, it's time. It, it, it's time, you know. It's time. Right. No. No. No more delay. No more. No more yanking us along. It's time. Give Shinsuke the belt. It's his time to shine. Exactly. But uh, yeah. I I and I definitely expect this match to be a banger, a banger beyond oh, yeah. belief, man. That's a fact. And be absolutely brutal too. Oh yeah, it will. Yeah. That's me. But you know, with that being said, you know th- that's gonna do it for this edition of the contracts. I definitely want to thank each and every one of y'all for taking the time at a business schedule to come and rock with us. I definitely want to thank the humble man, as usual, for coming for coming through, kicking his wrestling knowledge. Oh, yeah, yeah. You already know my man Cost Pete, and you know it, my nigga. Yeah. So, if, if you guys enjoyed this video, go hit the like button. Comment if you feel like it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. And as always, by way of Struggle Vision Productions, it's the Hitman and the Humble Man. And if you see us coming, run.